physics club. Ladies and gentlemen, teens and girls, today I have been brutally forced to come and interview the most famous scientist of all time. Charlie, don't go to all that trouble. I'm just a regular person. No, so. no, 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 not you, Carol. I'm talking. I'm here to interview Albert Einstein, am I not? Huh? Whatever I you heard you communicate with the deceased. Now, don't tell me it was all gossip. Do you or do you not communicate with Einstein? Oh, well, hmm, sort of. I mean, I suppose uh, I write letters to Albert on my blog, and, and I do feel his presence and so forth. I can answer what seems to me to be him, but it's not like I'm trying to prove it or anything because you just can't use the scientific method on Say, psychological... Say, did Mr. Einstein donate his brain to science? Yes, he did. Oh, how do you know? Are you absolutely sure? I'm positive. Well, only fools are positive. Are you sure? Yeah, I'm positive. Why, it's all over the internet. His brain? Holy cow, you mean like Ghost in the Shell? Whoa! Natoko merges with the vast web at the end of the first movie? Wow. Actually, now that you point it out, yes, it's exactly like that. Like Ghost in the Shell. I mean... Just look at all the Wikipedia links to thousands of relativity-related pages and so forth. I really do feel his presence on the web, but it's more than that. He hangs out in the astral... Oh, wow, and to think Einstein's been on the net all along, and I never knew it. Crap, think of all those homework problems and physics he could have solved for me. Uh, Carol, uh, would he have helped me, you think? I seriously doubt it. He was a very ethical man. Hmm, note to self. She said was a very ethical man. Hmm, maybe when you lose your physical body, your morals go up and smoke too. Maybe only Albert's information was saved. Oh, goody, there's hope left. Tomorrow's my final exam and it's on the internet. Ha, <laughs> uh, Carol, what were you saying about the astral whatchamajigger? Well, yes, I... Uh, Einstein hands out in the astral plane. Boy, is that a bar? Never heard it's of it. It's not a bar. The astral plane's this otherworldly place where spirits come together. Sounds like a good bar. I'll have to check it out. Hey, I got a question right now for Al. Can you contact him? Uh, no. No? Well, <laughs> you don't own him. Albert, Mr. Einstein, calling Mr. Einstein. If I'm traveling the speed of light, my watch stops, right? Come in, Albert. Charlie, you can't travel the speed of light. You're made of matter. Ever Matter can't ever reach the velocity C. It's impossible. I know that. You think I'm stupid? I said if. If, if, if I was traveling at C. Okay, so let's say I was traveling at 99.99999% of C. Would my watch slow down to a turtle's pace? Well, no, not from our point of view. Well, who said you were coming? <laughs> there is a crowd. Well, sorry. Anyway, in that case, from my point of view on Earth, yes, your watch would slow down. But not from my point of view, right? To me, zipping along at a almost C, it, it seems like you're aging really fast. How dare you? If I could kick you right now, I would. Oh, but I'm in California and you're in Georgia. Ha! <laughs> uh, excuse me, but uh, I had a minor technical difficulty. Now, um, where were we? It wasn't all that high tech either. <laughs> Sticks and stones can break my thumbs, but violent bursts of anger through the World Wide Web can never hurt me. Well then, Carol, by extrapolation, we can now deduce that uh, photons... Uh, you mean light waves? Oh yes, uh, what I said. Well, photons, light waves, whatever you call them. Their clocks actually stop when they are traversing the galaxies at velocity C. Am I right? Yep. Albert, am I right? Hmm. I didn't hear anything. Believe me, you're right. I heard him nod. But a nod doesn't make any sound. <sighs> well, consider the source. So, Carol, if I'm a light wave traveling from one end of the universe to the other end, how long would it take? Mm, probably about a gajillion years at least. Not from your Rolex, dork. From my light wave's Rolex. I 
Never buy a Rolex. Well, I'll tell you. From the lightweight's point of view, it would all happen in less than a blink of an eye. Well, yeah, I guess. I really don't think the light wave is going to notice that fact, since it lacks a brain. Oh, don't be so presumptuous, Carol. Give the light wave a little credit. Anyway, I think I just invented a time travel teleportation machine. Really? Am I a co-inventor? <laughs> yeah, right. You don't even know what the invention is yet. Okay, so how does it work? Okay, first, you turn yourself into light. Oh, yeah, easy. <laughs> I can do that. Then you zip across the universe instantaneously. But instantaneously from my point of view, obviously. Well, so what happens Only when you... Only one sub-microscopic snag. And Dang it. What's that? How to turn back into matter. Uh, sounds far-fetched. It could work. Well, let me know when you perfect it. By the way, how did you learn to turn into light? You last, you must have peeked into my private meditation journal. No, I was... I didn't look in your journal. I was only kidding. I have no idea how to transform into light. No one can do that. Well, apparently Einstein did. They downloaded all his thoughts onto the web, and now he's just an information flow of photons zipping around in those light transmitting cables. Hey, you're right. You're absolutely right. I mean, Ghost in the Shell is a reality today. To think it was written only two decades ago. Man. Charlie, I'm thinking his morals are preserved on the internet. Here's why. Hey, I see a flashing yellow light. Uh, what do you suppose this means? Because his essays on world peace are likely downloaded in some ebooks. Now it's flashing red. Do you suppose we're out of time? And look, I have a passage by Einstein right here. It says, The seller of the precious thing we have done with liberty is not his energy, our food, our first people and manifestation of the same people. Furthermore, the equation is equal and equal. And which energy is equal to multiplied with the power of the